Hi, Rajesh here again. Uh, let's talk today about another interesting and very powerful uh, mechanism in Marketo uh, called custom activities. Um, we saw Mar Marketo custom objects before. Uh, then what is this custom of activities now? Um, custom activities uh, is just like activities uh, in Marketo. As you see, in Marketo, when we send emails out, uh, we get uh, a, a person gets tracked again as sent email. If the he he or she um, get the email gets delivered, then we get email is delivered. If he or she opens the email, we get activity tracked on the, their activity log as opened opens email. If they click on an email, we get uh, clicks in a link in the email, right? Unsubscribe is unsubscribe some from the email. Data value changes, you know, the value of the data field was changed and things like that. Uh, added to opportunity and so and so forth. So. These are all activities which are native or built in into Marketo um, and they are great. They are all great. But how about if you have a custom need, let's say, I mean, I have worked in the projects whereby, um, let's say you are a home builder and you want to know because your marketing also many times happen when people walk in into your um, open houses or your model homes or your design center and uh, have a look at your model home or, or, or you know, design furniture or, or their uh, accessories and all that. Uh, so you want to have a keeper tab on it and when somebody visits your model home, one of your model home, you want to automatically shoot an email alert to somebody in house um, or you want to set them into a nurture flow uh, and things like that. So how do you do that? Because that activity of visited a model home is not in market or built in so and that's where custom activities comes in custom activities allow you uh, ways and additional ways a person can interact with your company uh, they uh, as i said you know they can visit your um, model home or if you you know have a trade shows they visited your trade shows or or so many things or or came, came to a shop um, and whatnot so market can capture it um, so that you, you know, we marketers can understand it, act on it, and we can send timely uh, and correct information or communication to that person as such. So, so these activities and they are not related to market or form, not to email landing page or not. Um, you can, if you're a bank, you can actually track uh, people depositing a check, you know, and just get a great activity. And that information comes from your banking system to your marketo and you can have hey thanks for depositing a check uh, and things like that now um, you say okay what is custom activities and what are what how are they different than custom objects now custom objects are things like hey cars the person owned now they can change a car or they can paint the car let's say that is a way but let's say technically they can change a car and the car color can change from blue to red uh, but custom activities, that's activity. They cannot go back in past and change what they did. So activities are just like activities. I cannot undo me clicking on a link in an email. I can change my name from Rajesh to something else, but I cannot undo opening an email or submitting a form. So things like that. So activities are like something which they did while custom objects is some information about them or what they own or what they have done, uh, things like that. Now you can uh, so let's get into it how do we get started um, so basically we go again to admin and you see there is a custom uh, sorry not custom objects custom activities and because we don't have any custom activity just click on this button and let's say um, you can say uh, visits uh, visit uh, what do you say I'm a model model home let's say I'm a builder uh, working for a builder um, like oops. model home and you just and the API name is automatically calculated you can change it uh, and that's would be the right time to change it now but uh, then define your custom activity filters um, what do you want to be known in the market or smart campaign uh, 
in the here in the when you actually want to have what you want to know is like added to products on and thing like that so you can um, say something like uh, the filter can be uh, visited uh, model home that's the filter and this one will be visits model home and that's that's kind of next let's say um, now what kind of uh, define your custom activity primary field uh, the primary field might be the string maybe you can say the name of the string is um, let's say model home name um, actually community because every community might have a model home and you want to know the model homes uh, which uh, communities model home they visited and that's that's pretty much it that's how you created the custom activities and uh, then you can have additional fields to it uh, as such you can create new fields maybe uh, new type let's say i would say the date you can say well we already have the date but you can you get the point right yeah we can add a or maybe our niche update we can see what field shall i have mm, maybe what was the phone number they left something like that and uh, you can say so that um, so we can um, add a new field or edit field um, let's say maybe we can also have a new field maybe uh, what kind of uh, like home they were looking for um, kind of uh, home size something like that you can have that um, and we can have a model home community that's the and that's a primary okay so that's the primary field on the activity is the community because you want to know that's the most important thing these other things are details and that's uh, about it um, now in the market of activities now you can do is a custom activity actions you can approve the activity when you approve that activity those tables actually get to create created and um, then you can actually start using it now when we approve the activity the activity gets approved the id gets created internally and all that um, the filter is visited model home visits model home and you will have all these apis and all that also all set up you can you have your programmers um, to actually use this using apis calls and create these custom activities when somebody visits a home model home they can actually automatically push that information into this activity table in marketo and then you can write smart campaigns right um, here to uh, just listen to that let's refresh this window and let's see whether uh, we have the custom activities um, available already and you see here the custom trigger called visits model home is already available and we can because it's a primary is the model home community that's the primary and we can actually say hey if you have uh, communities in um, san diego or in los angeles irvine or texas austin thing like that or multiple with name maybe san juan capistrano or maybe um, the summit or whatnot whatever your property or community name is you can actually pick it up here and you can pick one multiple and all that but that's how you will use the other fields you can use as a give me all the people who have um, home sizes who are looking for three bedroom houses something like that or one acre lots or whatnot whatever you have or the phone number is not null you can send is not empty so that you can actually have somebody call them if they have no phone number you don't want to call them and all that obviously so thing like that you can do you can also have custom filters visited home give me all the people who visited a community a model home in last 30 days and whatnot and you can say which community you can say hey who community 
who visited the model home and the, the summit community, not any other one. I think that and give me all the people who we invited for open house, but they did not show up and not visited model home, things like that. So as as usual, if uh, if you work in Marketo, these are the main ones which we use for most of the things. People, um, so it's basically the people when they visit, immediately things happen. People who have visited in the past, you want to do something. That's the second one. People you invited but they did not yet visit to, uh, in spite of that or you know otherwise also, then you want to act on something. So those are the things. So you have the triggers, filters created automatically by the custom activities, and um, that's about it as such. So and um, you will in the Marketo uh, custom uh, the contact uh, lead log activity log you will see custom activities as on when they they get created so as soon as somebody visits the 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 properties they will see as activity log that they visited and all that so you can also track them right here um, with the when they visit and all that so that's kind of another cool uh, thing as such let me think what else um, yeah I think that's pretty much about it but as you see it's very powerful uh, Marketo have made it so easy and so powerful to extend Marketo in such a way that we can integrate with your business flows outside whether you are a home builder, whether you are a book publisher, whether you are a software company, whether you are an uh, event organizer, you can do so many cool things with this kind of thing, so whether you are a bank who's or, or mortgage uh, financial institute, when somebody deposits a market check you want to do something, things like that or people who did not deposit a market check you can do something. So things like that you can really um, do in Marketo um, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, now to create these activities automatically in Marketo, uh, you will need a programmer uh, who will work with your other system from where the activities get originated to use the Marketo API calls to create those API, uh, the act custom activities in Marketo. And not, not too difficult, but you know, you need somebody who have done that in past uh, but or, or not really the you know it, it's not that rocket science but you know need some programming background and marketing background um, but uh, that's pretty much about, about it um, market or custom activities I hope um, you had as much fun as I did making this video to uh, to know about this um, and as uh, as you as uh, always let me know if there is something you wanted to hear in here and it's not here um, or you don't agree with something I said here, um, I would love to get your feedback. Um, also subscribe to this channel because I will be adding new videos every week. Uh, hopefully those videos will add value to fellow Marketo uh, user like you. And uh, please spread the word, you know, uh, hopefully this can yeah, help the Marketo community, the bigger Marketo community and uh, looking forward to do um, my part into being a good market or community member and uh, yeah i think with that uh, signing off uh, bye then see you sometime soon